How do folks, uh, Bones here, hope everyone's alright. I've got a quick video today to show you this radius ball turning uh, jig that I made uh, recently. I've uh, only just sort of sussed out how to figure out how to uh, get the right radius on this thing and uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll run through it now. So basically I made this a uh, couple of days ago and it's two bearings, there's one underneath there and one on the top there clamped down. So it moves really smoothly, but there's no there's no play in it at all. Must uh, I'm not really sure what the bearings were to be honest, but you need some big sturdy bearings that are preloaded. I don't know, but anyway, it seems to work for me. You can buy these that are just run on a surface between oil an oil surface, but uh, apparently they grind up a little bit. So I made mine out of uh, two bearings, a <coughs> bit of aluminium, and uh, obviously the brass inks here with a channel machine through for the um, tool piece which I think I can remember I think that's eight mil yeah eight mil eight mil square so what I've sussed out so far this is the first time I've done this well third fourth maybe that the point obviously your point of your cutting tool needs to be dead centre that's a given everyone knows that so we don't need to sort of dwell on that too much but if you are making a radius here of a half a circle or a semicircle i figured out that the point from the center of the bar to here needs to be uh half down here so sorry the diameter of this bar needs to be half where the point will end up here i think that's right so as it swings round eventually when it gets to that point again it should be exactly a semicircle. So to test that theory what we do is we bring up the tool to the centre of the stock. I've already made sure this is running well it's not running true as it can be but it's running as true as it will in this forge or we better move that otherwise it'll be a whole world of pain my my way so this bar here is 32 it's just under 32 so if we say 16 mil so i'll adjust this to 16 mil this is only kind of rough at the minute and how i sort of figuring things out for myself we don't need to move the carriage any um left and right movement so we'll lock that off Okay, so we can't move that now. So that's in the centre. So we bring the cross slide out. See, I've already got that wrong. So what I do need to move this, once I've set this at a right angle to the uh, level with the chuck. So 16 mil. So as we can see, that's probably about 15. Remember, I'm just sort of winging it at the minute. It's just a bit of a bit of guesswork so we'll bring this down so about there and lock that off now my theory now is that those two points there should match up and we should get a nice semicircle first thing I need to do though <coughs> is have a slurp of coffee right here we go Let's fire up the Quattro. And uh, hope this kind of works. Otherwise I'm a little bit daft. So eventually I'll stick a bar on this. But uh, in the minute I've just got this. So what we need to do is work gently in and out. It looks really odd at the minute. That's why now look what's happened there is because I adjusted this uh, saddle I need to now adjust the in and out of that so I did that on purpose just to uh, show you what was going on 
So what I'll do is just I'll just move that tool out. What I'll do is I'll just put that in and push that up against there so I know now it's hopefully about right. Keep in mind that I don't really know what I'm doing here. So this is all kind of uh, guesswork. Right, that looks as though it could be more like it. Look. So what we do is we just bring it in and out. Take some rough cuts off as we uh, start, and then near the end, I'll take some uh, smoother cuts. So, as you can see now, it seems to be doing a much, uh, much better job. So all we're doing each time is just bringing in the uh, cross lighting for just a smidgen. And eventually the point of the tool will get to the centre of the bar, which is probably about 5mm off at the minute. And all being well, when that is at the centre of the bar, it should be pretty much on there. Remember, I'm just kind of winging this, so it's still as good not going to be perfect. Nearly there. So what I'll start doing now is I'll uh, take some smoother cuts. See you later, Hannah! daughter off to work so I think just about there look. right So I'll bring the camera around now, hopefully, fingers crossed. You can see that's quite a nice shape to that. So the theory seems to be there, it's just a bit of uh, probably tightening up the my method of, of doing things, possibly just to uh, smooth things out a bit. But that seems to work. So what I'll do is Move that out of the way. A little bit of sanding pad. And you can actually make um, balls with these things, but you have to put your chunk or your your slug of whatever metal you're using on a mandrel so this can swing round as much as it can what I'll end up with you'll have the ball and then kind of a you know a section like that to finish off I think I don't think you can you can, obviously can't get all the way around but uh, that seems to work I'm pretty chuffed with that and of you can do sort of um, internal radiuses as well so if that was there say I could make sort of fancy shapes in between there as well as just domed but well, that's all right chuff with that so 
So if you've got any tips or anything, like I say, I'm not an expert and uh, I've just winged it on this video. If you've got any other tips or um, ideas, better ideas how to do it, put them in the comments below because uh, I'm always trying to learn these new techniques for making stuff and uh, it's always handy to know what other people do and how they do it. So cheers guys, hope you enjoyed that. Maybe it was some use, maybe it wasn't, but uh, cheers guys, take it easy, see ya.